Hi everyone, I'm Maddie. You may not know me, but I'm working here at DC Power Co. And today I'm going to be talking to Jan, our Chief Technical Officer, who's here to talk to us about a solar alert that we're looking to offer our beta customers. So what we do know, Jan, is that one in five systems aren't working properly at the moment. The age reported that. And so that's a pretty big deal to us because we're solar focused. And so we want to make sure that if people's solar systems aren't working, that we're telling them about that. So Jan, how can we even offer a solar alert? That's a good question. Um, many of you who have solar installed will also have a smart meter installed. And a smart meter is basically a, a meter that you'll see on your wall, typically has a flashing red light or a couple. And what that meter is doing is every day it's taking the data from your usage and your export and sending that back to the grid. Now, if you're a customer of DC Power, we have access to that data and we're able to look at it to make sure that things are working normally. Um, the solar alert specifically in this case, what we're doing is we're looking at export. Um, if you're a solar customer, not only can we see how much energy you use, but we can see how much energy you put back on the grid and we call that the export. And we just make sure that that's normal. Basically that it's a number, um, broadly speaking, above zero. Um, if it isn't above zero, that's when we send the alert. So that's the rule that will apply. So if, if people are exporting no power to the grid, we'll have a look at that. That's right. So. What, what the point of the solar alert is really to tell you if something looks broken. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be setting that threshold really low or as close to zero as, as we think is, is necessary. Um, and that means that you shouldn't be getting these alerts too often, but we do know that up to one in five systems will get to a point where fundamentally they won't be exporting everything. So the quicker you know as a customer means the quicker you can address it and the quicker you can start making money again off your solar panels. Great. So if we know that someone's solar system isn't working, we can see that they're exporting close to zero to the grid. How will we tell people about it? Mm, good point. So I think the first way we're gonna try is, for many of you, we have your um, mobile phone numbers. So we'll send you an SMS to begin with. Um, there's many ways, obviously, we can do this. We can, we're also looking at email and also push notification through the app. But for, as part of this first part of the trial, uh, at the beta phase, we're gonna be going through SMS. Um, really keen to hear your feedback as to whether or not you guys think that's appropriate. Um, but at the same time, what we recognize is that if your solar stopped working completely, that's costing you money. So we want to let you know as soon as possible. And so if someone's solar does stop working, what do they need to do about it? Yeah, look, it's the first thing to do if you've got zero export is just to walk up to your inverter and have a look at it. We don't recommend touching anything at this stage, but just look at it and see if you can see any um, noticeable error lights or error codes on the display. Um, some of you may have kept the manuals, but we get that most of you probably haven't. So what we would recommend is have a look at it. Um, if you feel like it during this trial phase, take a photo of it and send it through to us because that's going to help us understand what's going on out there because it's still an area that isn't really fully understood in terms of why these things are failing. Um, but the best thing you can do is to contact um, the, the, the company that installed your inverter. Don't, um, don't touch it with any tools. Um, that's, that's not your job, that's theirs. Um, definitely uh, reach out to them and ring them. If they're no longer around, you can look for what we call a CEC accredited installer. CEC stands for um, Clean Energy Council. Um, on their website, um, and there'll be a link to that, um, you can find a list of accredited installers in your area who might be able to give you a hand if the people who installed it aren't still around. So handy to know that. Um, if, are there, so this is beta and obviously we're, we're looking for feedback, but are there currently limitations to what we're doing? Is there, a, mm. is this kind of the first part or are we looking to expand it? What's yeah, yeah, look, there's a lot going on in this space. I think the first thing to say is right now we're really doing um, what we call solar alert and it's checking whether or not your solar has stopped working. Um, we're not stopping there. What we want to do to, for our customers is deliver a service where we tell you how well your solar is working. And we'll be, we'll be coming out with a few more announcements in the near future about how we plan to do that. Um, I think the thing to notice though is that um, there are sometimes, what it is possible, um, we hope it won't happen too often, that we, we contact someone and say their solar, their solar isn't working when it still is. And that could happen, for example, if you're doing a renovation and you turned off at the switchboard the, the circuit that pushes back to the grid. Um, we hope we, to minimize those. At the same time, it's probably useful for you to know if you haven't exported that day. Um, let us know if it is a false positive um, because we want to build you know, better and better tools and algorithms to make sure that we only send messages to you when we need to. Awesome. Alrighty, Vita. So we are going to start sending these solar alerts out to anyone that hasn't 
um, exported anything to the grid. Um, so keep an eye out for those, but please let us know what you think of this. And if you have any feedback, that would be really great to know. And thank you, Jan. No problem. Thank you so much.